Warrior, welcome. You know what today is? Today is an opportunity. Today is an opportunity to see what you're going through from a whole different angle, a whole different light. During my health anxiety, generalized anxiety struggles, the truth was that I was constantly comparing what I was going through to what others didn't understand or what they were going through. I led myself to believe that my struggles with anxiety were a lot different than what anybody else out there was going through. And the truth was that other people out in the world were going through things that were easier to deal with and much more difficult than what I was dealing with. I want you to understand today that it's time. It's time to stop comparing your struggles, your challenges with everybody else's. Because all you're doing is you're adding more weight around your current challenges with anxiety. You're making the mountain that you need to climb a lot steeper by limiting what your real potential is. Every single time a hopeless idea shows up, every single time a hopeless emotion shows up, I want my voice to be in your head. And I want you to really understand that in that moment, within that 10 to 15 second window, you have a massive opportunity to recondition yourself just the way I did. And so, there were a couple of components that I really recognize now that I went through during the struggle, the transition, and the becoming of the new me. One of the first things that I realize now was that I was digging. I was digging, and it was a good thing. It was good for me to dig as to where the root causes lied as far as what I was struggling with today. Too many people out in the world are constantly looking to take action, action, to implement something new, to take something new, in order for a quick fix or a magic wand to show up. There is no magic wand, warrior. You gotta dig. And you gotta find out why you do what you do. Why you worry so irrationally where these patterns came from, who your parents really were, why they may have embedded you with all this conditioning, what were they going through, what were the events that began the snowball effect to your anxiety disorder. Anxiety is not an accident. It's not an accident. There are reasons for why you're here going through what you're going through. So I realized that the first thing I did was I was digging. I needed to understand because that is the second part of all this. After the digging, I needed to understand things at a different level. Taking off the current glasses that I was wearing and to put on new ones. To be able to perceive what I was going through, what I went through differently. When I came to a different understanding, Warrior, my emotions began to change. I began feeling like I was much more neutral as to the things that I was blaming in the past, the things that I couldn't get to a place of forgiving, the people, the circumstances, the bullies, you know, all the cookie crumbs that led to what I was suffering through, my anxiety disorder. So I now realized that I was digging, which was great, and I was coming to a different understanding. A different understanding. And after that different understanding, I was going through my day consistently replacing the old with the new. I wasn't being led by my emotions. I wasn't being led by a feeling in my body. And when I began to replace one way of perceiving something with something else. When I began to replace an old emotional trauma with 
the benefits to having gone through it today, how it has helped me. When I began to replace a scary or uncomfortable situation with a potential opportunity to grow, I began finding myself in a place of the unknown. Who am I becoming? Things are changing. My belief systems are changing. My thoughts are changing. People are changing around me. And a lot of people out there are so scared of this change that they sabotage their progress and go back to how things were because it's too uncomfortable as far as change work goes. That's no way to live. That's no way to live. And I want you to get so dissatisfied today to attach enough pain to what you've been going through and are going through in order for you to begin to implement the things that are within the Anxiety Guy content. Because no skill set is going to work for you until you have the right mindset. When I was digging and then understanding differently and then replacing things throughout the day, I found myself acting on the knowledge that I was gaining, the clarity that I was gaining. I was acting on it. And when I was acting on it, again, the world was unfamiliar. I didn't know how people were going to react to me. I didn't know if I could maintain it. I didn't know what was to come. And I needed to be okay with that. I needed to be okay with not knowing what was to come. Because so many people live in a world of needing the security and the safety of what is to come. I need to be in control. I need to know the answers. I need to see where I'm going. You don't need to see anything. All you need to see is the next step forward. What's the next step forward? What's the next step forward? It's like driving in the dark. And when you're driving in the dark and there are those lights, those lampposts on the side, all you can really see is the next 10 meters and the next 10 meters after that. You don't need to see the entire path. The next 10 meters is enough. I want you today to begin to understand that you've done things in the past that were uncertain to you, uncomfortable, and by you becoming relentless, you grew your belief. So many people today say you got to believe in yourself. It's not true. In the beginning of the journey, you don't need belief in yourself. The belief grows as you continue on the path of unfamiliarity. You begin finding the comfort within the uncomfortable. And I want you to know that if I can do this, warrior, you can 110% do this. I promise you, it's not a linear path, but I promise you in the end, it's going to be worth it for you, the people around you, and the people that are relying on you in the future to come to you and say, how did you do it? For you to be on that stage, to start your own anxiety program, to do your own coaching, whatever it may be, warrior, there is a bigger purpose to all of this. So many people today say, I don't know my purpose. That's okay. Because on this journey, you're going to run into it. And when you do, you have to be open to it. Because once recovery shows up, a lot more unfamiliar things start to show up with it. But at that point, it's more so a positive expectation rather than something uncomfortable that you run from consistently like who you were before. I love you so much. Comment below. Let me know what you got from this particular video. And remember, you are more than anxiety. Don't ever let anyone or your own irrational mind tell you otherwise. Have a wonderful day. You deserve it. Thank you.